in this example there is a rubber band shown by this green line over here and it is stretched from an unstretched position AC so this is the unstretched position AC and it has been stretched to B to C as a result it will have a force F in it so it is asking the question is asking how much moment or what is the value of the moment about point O so point O is in the shoulder area here so you have to find the moment of that force about point O so first thing is to calculate what is the force now the force in the elastic band would be proportional to its elongation and proportionality constant is given by this elastic modulus which is 60 newton per meter so first thing we need to find out the value of force F and to get that value of force F we need to find out how much this elastic band has been extended from its unstretched position AC to BC so the length AC is given as 740 AC is the unstretched length. The stretched length is B to C and we have to find out what is B to C. Now to calculate B to C what we can do is we can consider this triangle here. So for this triangle we can write the BC square would be equal to OB square plus OC square. Now what is the value of OC? Now value of OC would be OA plus AC. So OC would be OA plus AC which is equal to now OA is same as OB because it's the length of the hand so OB plus AC now how much is OB is 635 millimeter plus AC is given at 740 millimeter so OC would be 1375 millimeter so that gives us BC now so BC would be using Pythagoras we can get OB square which is 635 square plus 1375 square so that would give us 15 one five millimeter so how much is the extension or the elongation of the band so the elongations if you write so elongation of the band if we call delta that would be BC minus its original length AC which will give us 775 millimeter force F would be proportional to this elongation but that would be multiplied by this elastic modulus 60 Newton per meter so F would be that K times Delta now K is the elastic modulus 60 Newton per meter so we have to convert 
the 775 to meter so that would be 0.775 that much of newton so that would give us 46.5 newton now to calculate the moment about point o what we can do is we can drop a perpendicular line from point o to this line of action of the force and multi and measure this distance d and multiply with f times d that would be surely one way to do but an easier approach would be to resolve that force f in the horizontal and vertical direction so we can resolve this force in the horizontal and vertical direction to resolve this force we need to calculate the angle or one of this angle let's say this angle is theta so by using this triangle right angle triangle tan theta would be equal to OC by OB so which gives us theta will be equal to 65.2 degree so if this force is f the component in the horizontal directions would be f cosine theta and the component in the vertical direction this component would be f sine theta so for f sine theta component we will get the moment about point o there will be no moment due to f cosine theta because that force passes through point o so the lever arm would be zero so to calculate the moment what we need to multiply is f sine theta times the distance so the moment that we are interested in m is equal to f sine theta times the distance OB so if you do all of these together you will get an answer as 26.8 Newton meter and it will act in the anti-clockwise direction so the directions of the moment would be anti-clockwise Okay, so this completes this tutorial. So before I complete this example, uh, do note that for the moment here, the unit is Newton meter. So for moment always, you will have one force unit and one length unit. We have used for force unit Newton and length unit meter. So here we have got Newton meter. 